This week, I'm trying out some of the best ways to work out at home to see which one burns the most calories. First, let's talk about calorie burn. Not everyone burns the same amount of calories when they work out. Besides the obvious difficulty level of the workout and the weight and resistance that you're using during it, there's so many other things that can affect this number. Because of that, here are my metrics. Keep in mind that you might burn more or less than me, depending on what yours are. Let's start with the most mysterious workout, Pilates. I honestly didn't know what Pilates was until last year, and to be honest, I still kinda don't. After a lot of careful recon and research, I've come to the conclusion that it is micro-movements, much like bar, using repetition, resistance, and weight to make you wish you'd never been born. If you actually go to a Pilates studio, it may also include a machine called a reformer, which, to be honest, looks like a medieval torture device. When I describe Pilates to someone who's never heard of it, I basically say that you do a tiny movement over and over until you're shaking, and then right when you feel like your limb is going to fall off your body, your instructor tells you to hold it at the peak point and pulse. In short, I always come out of a Pilates class knowing in my heart that Pilates instructors could sub in for professional torturers anytime. Although this workout is amazing for building stability, working those tiny muscles that you otherwise never use, and making grown men cry, it doesn't necessarily burn a lot of calories. My 45 minute workout burned around 123 calories. Of course, this could go up if I use something like ankle weights or resistance bands to make it harder. For the most part though, Pilates is about pulsing, taking it slow, and working with good form. Without adding those things though, Pilates burns about an average of 3 calories per minute. Next up is boxing. You don't need gloves or a bag to box at home. You really just need to jump rope. Boxing is unlike any other workout I've ever done. It's not just about your body and how you move it, it's about your mind. And let me tell you, when you're throwing punch-ins for three minutes straight, your mind completely stops working. During this workout, if you aren't focused on exactly what you're doing, you will probably mess up. You will hit yourself with your jump rope. You will hit the wrong combo. But when you're focused, you feel like a machine. It's 30 minutes of sweating and jumping and standing abs, and I promise that afterwards, you will never feel more alive. The boxing classes I do switch off between jump rope for speed and endurance, and some combination drills. Again, you could add a weighted rope, weights, or even just gloves to make this more intense. At an insane average of 6 calories per minute, boxing is a beast. My 35 minute workout burned 209 calories. I can feel those butterflies when I go to sleep at night. Hit with two eyes. This kind of workout can mean so many things, but the main idea is that you work really hard on a move for a short period of time and then you rest. Think of it like running on the treadmill. Instead of jogging for 10 minutes, hit would mean that you may sprint for a minute and then walk for 30 seconds. This means two things. First, you spike your heart rate and confuse your body. And second, because you know you have a break coming up, you'll actually push yourself more during that one minute sprint. Both of these mean that you burn more calories. The style of hit that I do is 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. It's a mix of cardio and strength exercises so you work your heart and build muscle. I love HIT. It means that I can get in and get out and maximize what I can get done in a short amount of time. These sessions are usually 20 to 35 minutes long and I can burn anywhere from 130 to 190 calories at 5 to 6 calories per minute on average. yoga. One of my first loves. When most people think of yoga, they think of a good stretch and little else, but don't let that fool you. There are many styles of yoga and many levels of intensity. The style I'm doing here is basically a vinyasa hatha flow combo at about beginner to intermediate level. This roughly translates to yoga with a lot of movement, not a long time spent sitting in the poses, and no crazy handstands. Yoga gets the blood moving. When I'm sitting all day, it's the best feeling in the world to do a yoga class. I feel long and lean and graceful even if I don't look it. 
The biggest trick of yoga is the end pose, which usually involves lying on the floor for 10 minutes after the workout. Somehow in this 10 minutes, you forget about the shaking and the sweating and the heavy breathing. And when you open your eyes, you feel like you just got a three hour massage, spent a week with Gwyneth Paltrow at a goop retreat, opened your third eye, and now you can do anything. Depending on how hard I find the class, a 40 minute session burns around 140 to 150 calories at about three to four calories per minute on average. Kickboxing always makes me think of action movies, probably because my instructor is crazy hardcore and she could 1000% beat me up in a fight. I find kickboxing to be similar to boxing, but with more variety and with the obvious added component of kicking. It goes against every fiber of my being, which makes it even harder than it should be because I was always taught in dance to turn out my feet and point my toes, and everything in kickboxing is the absolute opposite of that. In addition, the woman who teaches the class always thinks it's extra good practice to get up without using your hands, which is exactly what you don't want to do when you're tired. And you will be tired. Kickboxing means no stopping, very little rest, lots of movement and jumping, and always being ready to throw a punch anyway. I often use small weights in this class, which makes it even harder, but I always finish feeling like I'm actually in one of those action movies, so maybe that helps make up for all the sweating and dying. All things considered, it should be no surprise that just a 30 minute class burned around 210 calories, and an average of 6 calories per minute. At the end of the day, it's more important to find a workout that you enjoy, and one that you can stick to. Or maybe you're like me, you like to do them all so you don't ever get bored. Whatever you decide, calories aren't ever the main thing. Some workouts make you stronger, some help you work out for longer, and some build up your balance and stability. Workouts aren't one size fits all, and that's kind of a relief. If you're new here, welcome. I make new videos every Thursday. If you like this video, give it a like and subscribe so you don't miss out. Thanks so much for watching. See you next week.